All right, ladies and gentlemen, right now I have with me the ever so gorgeous Tanya Hope. And of course, the reason why Tanya looks like this and of course, all the other stunning models brand, Indrano, congratulations for every year, you know, raising your own bar. How do you do it? And Tanya, how do you feel looking like this? Amazing. Like, I was just telling them, like, I really lo love wearing traditional, but their outfits just take, take traditional to another level. True. And I'm feeling, I really feel like I'm going to go ahead and get married right now. Yeah. Like, I'm just... <laughs> You know, this is like very traditional yet gives a very modern look to it. Like yeah. it's it's not completely like bridal bridal, but yet yeah. this is like a new age bride would wear something like this. Yeah, so that's what Harshita was saying. She's like, it's a bride's always in red, right? But yes. she wanted to make it something grey and like Lovely. break the monotony, like she mm -hmm. said already. Yeah. So yeah, I really like that. So would you wear something like this for your own wedding? See, I'm never gonna get married, so these are the only opportunities I have to dress See, like a we bride. We have to wait so now. Every fashion week is you, like you do the know only that opportunity I will have. People who say that get married before the first, right? Okay, you want to bet? <laughs> you want to bet? bet? Okay, bet. okay. This is gonna get married. Record, okay, yeah. You want to bet? Okay, cool. <laughs> Lovely. Please. You tell me how is the collection like? Crazy response by everybody. Thank you so much for response. Yeah. And uh, this time we are introducing our uh, bridal collection by the name Ro, okay. which means. Him uh, to the soul, basically. Yeah. This talks about your inner self. Mm -hmm. You don't have to try to be somebody else. You can just be elegant. You can be yourself in whatever you're wearing. That's exactly what we want to portray. Yeah. And this time our bridal couture had reds, pinks and oranges. Yes. But we wanted to go a little offbeat. Yeah. And that's why she's that wearing like grey. <laughs> yes, always looking elegant and different in whatever we you know, want her to wear for us. And we also had semi-bridal wear, basically like light wear gowns and lehengas for yeah. the bridesmaid. So basically, this is your one-stop destination for all your bridal needs. Lovely, lovely. So basically, whoever is getting married and yeah. nobody needs to worry because everything is under one roof, right? right, right. What, inspired, what inspired you? for this something, this collection. Mm -hmm. It's a very big problem for me. Yeah. Then I plan that everything is in one place, so whoever the bride comes, they should have fun. In one place, you can see the outfit and try it, you will enjoy the outfit also. Absolutely. So yeah. this is our main motto too yeah. for all brides. That is lovely. And tell me something about her outfit in particular. This is the show-stopping outfit. Very a new age bride outfit, as I would call it. It's beautiful. Like, how much time did it take to make this? I think one and a half month. Wow. Yes, wow. yeah. And in this, we use like sequins, zardozi, pearl. Because yes. uh, generally, we give red and pink. Ko dete hai. Yes. But thoda ek break tha ki ko kuch alag se so we need a little break to show the bride can enjoy all colors. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. We are not depending on single color. Absolutely. And this uh -huh. time we've also broken, uh, we've also inspired our collection from the Mughal, oh. you know, back then because, yeah, yeah. yeah all the Nath, like, we have introduced Nath for all the models along with, you know, like you can see she's wearing a Pasa, which okay, is yeah. pretty okay. Nawabi, yes, you know, yes, which is yes, very yes. different. And... Uh, Along with that, uh, you know, our colors and if you see the intricate designs also, they are pretty much like a monument because they just go from broader to, you know, they narrow down. So that's the whole inspiration where it's coming from. That's lovely. And Tana, you tell me, were you comfortable walking in this? Like, can one really dance at their wedding wearing this? Tell me honestly. They can. I'm honest. It's very, very, very comfortable. I mean, if it wasn't, there's no way I can Definitely. walk on that ramp. I mean, I'm yeah. not a model. I swear I was freaking out backstage <laughs> and I'm like, dude, something's going to happen. Tana but always says this and always rocks the you're a natural but it was so fun it was I'm so sure. fun like it was Diwali uh, Diwali is around the corner what's your look going to be have you decided on a look uh, yeah I think I'm going to wear a Sharara wow because I tried it on it looks nice for me yeah. so I'm going to wear it yeah and uh, can you give a sneak peek to your fans on what colors are they expecting you to wear on Diwali uh, maybe green nice yeah Nice. That's nice. So Tanya has of course given a sneak peek and we have to wait for her Instagram for her to update her Diwali look. What style tips would you like to give to all the young fans out there and you know the college goers who want to experiment with fashion? Oh. I think it's more important right. to be comfortable over yeah. everything. Just be in your own skin. You're going to enjoy it, whatever you wear it. However you are, whether you think of yourself pretty or whatever it is, just wear whatever you like. I think you're going to look gorgeous. Absolutely. I think that's the whole yeah. thing. And experiment with colors and styles. I think you're going to find out what's your base there. Absolutely. And uh, comfort comes on the face. And if you're not comfortable, you can't enjoy. Very, very well said by all these lovely, beautiful ladies. Thank you so much, Tanya, for nice talking to, to us. Thank you so much. I have to uh, keep up, you know, to <laughs> all these lovely ladies. We, I hope thank to see you, you soon. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much.